Markers are a great way to reveal content only when needed. They can be clicked on or hovered over. I've got a marker already on the screen. To add in a marker, go to Insert, Marker, select the marker that you want, click where you want to place it, add in a title, and then add in a description. Click away and that's you added it. Let's preview this. If the user hovers over the marker, they get just the title. If they click on it, they get all the other information. I've got it set up the same way for this one. If they click away, it disappears. You can also format the marker. Click on the marker, go to format, decide how you want to look. You can also show all on hover. So I'll preview this. Now notice I've only edited one marker. I'm just hovering over it and all of it appears. This one here, I hover over it and only the title appears. I click on it for the extra information. So I'll let you decide how you want to lay it out. Something else to note is that when we went to the preview, they were both pulsing. So what I can do, I can have none or I can add a swirl effect. I'll preview it. There you go, you have a swirl effect, looks like it's loading. You have a pulsing or you could have none. If you want to edit them, simply click on it and then make the changes that you want. Note, markers cannot be used as icons themselves. They can only be used as markers. They always have a function linked to them. So if you hover over them or click on them, something's going to happen. So if you wanted to use this icon here as a play button, well, you can't. You'd have to create your own play button, go into insert, doing a shape of a circle, and then adding an icon of the play icon. Just wanted to make you aware of it because I've already tried to do it before.